Hi guys, it's Togafla here, and welcome back to some more Chaos on Deponia. Um, I decided against re-recording the last episode just because I figured that it was just an introduction, so it wasn't really all that important um, to re-record it, and honestly, um, this is really where the game starts. So, uh, I think I got everything. Did I get the bait? No, here we go. I would love to claim that I don't rummage around in trash. I did a little bit of this bit kidding? before. After I all, had recording this problems is last Deponia. time, so I know to get the bait from here. Blah, slimy. Oh, that is disgusting. No, I've had it. I simply do not belong here. I wait. What's this? Hey, that's my old anchovy bait. It's still good. Okay, from now on, I don't know what's going on. Ah, nothing beats a fresh breeze from the sea. Um, the smell of freedom and adventure. And tar and toxic chemicals. And Tony's mother? Shh, you're scaring the fish. Ugh, rotten fish. Close enough. But this native presents a welcome opportunity to make use of my cosmopolitan tactfulness and my linguistic skills. Me, Rufus, <laughs> where I find lab belong to Doc. Dear God. Are you talking to me, ape man? We put maps up for people like you. Ah, you mean heroes passing through? I mean people we prefer not to talk to. Hey, just so you know it, I have an excellent sense of direction. I don't need your stinking maps. <laughs> so what you looking at it for? I'm not looking. I'm just shooting it a contemptuous glance. Hell yeah, you tell him, Rufus. Oh, Doc's office is in the industrial mm. park. But where's the tavern? Ah, oh, well, who cares? I guess I'll go see Doc first then. That's very responsible of you, Rufus. Let's go. Hmm. You, you are cute. <gasps> what a cute little doggy you are. I beg your pardon? My name is Cleverbite. I'm an autonomous, cybernetically highly developed service unit, programmed to perform complex security tasks. Cleverbite. Oh, such an amusing name for a robodog. I will not suffer such indignities. Uh. Through the neuronal connection of computer circuits with organic cerebral matter, I am capable of processing more than 3,000 floating point operations wow. per second. Can you sit up and beg? Perhaps <laughs> not. But I could sit up and grab something until you beg me to let go. You know, you've huh. got quite an attitude for a cyber whatever mongrel, but I'm pretty sure that your bark is worse than your bite. Do you hear me barking then? Uh, I don't know. All I can hear is. <laughs> I'll ask Doc to make you a cyber muzzle. To do that, you would need to get past me, right? Oh, no. I'm not going to allow some stupid mutt to block my path. Actually, I'm a superior cybernetic. <laughs> Superior me. <laughs> Let me show you who is superior here. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Down, boy. Down. I am not sure. Oh, I, I have comprehended your intention. Time. That's because you're only a silly dog. It might help if you could talk in complete sentences. Down, boy. How do you see your I'm sorry. Down, Down boy. Down, boy. Bravo. With a little more effort, you might indeed be capable of forming an entire sentence. Ha! Piece of cake. <laughs> Is he just making fun of me now? Okay. I hereby demand that you perform the act of down. I hereby demand that you perform the act of down. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, cool. Well, I'm still not sure what you're really trying to tell me. <laughs> well, down. Down. See? Oh, no. Ruf oh. Like this. <laughs> this guy cracks me up. This this dog is horrible. Stupid okay. mutt. Let's find well, a way to get around you're him. Giving up already? 
How disappointing. Okay, let's see what we got to work with here. Uh, oh, a stick. Okay, what else? Some paint. White, of all things. The wet blanket among colors. Okay. Uh, that's probably for later. Uh, a crank. And some electrical tape. Okay. Let's try the stick on the dog. Hey, look what I've got! Oh, he likes it! And now, be a good dog and fetch the stick! What's wrong? Fetch the stick! Or are yeah. you too stupid? Yes, exactly. That's it. Fetch that stick. Hmm. No. You go fetch that stick now. Atta boy! If you're so fond of that stick, why don't you go get it yourself? And if you're a He's good so boy, sassy. I might even let you pass. <sighs> okay, let's go get the stick, Rufus. Let's get the stick. Go on! I just threw a stick, and you are a dog. So, what do dogs do in a case like this? They get the stick. I wait for you to make an even bigger fool of yourself. Oh yeah, I no, wouldn't count on it, man. wrong! You fetch the stick, or are you too stupid? Wait, wait. I'll show you how it's done. No. Rufus, <laughs> for God's sake. Oh, that light just came on. <laughs> oh, boy. You didn't really just do that, did you? <laughs> I wonder why that I, light I can't came on. take it anymore. Maybe the fixture's loose. <laughs> Decapo! Decapo! So that gives me electric shock. Could I like wrap my hand in like electrical tape? Maybe the fixture's loose. That wasn't the way I to do, Rufus. Decapo! Okay, right. Can I wrap? Oh no, you just use the stick on it. <laughs> exactly. That barking trash can may think he can shock me, but I'll show him what a shock. What? Well, I'm when when the shock. I mean, what what the what the shock? Oh, whatever. Some ingenious pun with shock. <laughs> shock, <laughs> because of the electric shock. And, and, I got and so it. On. We got it. Oh come on, Rufus. You don't need a punchline to be. Of course brilliant. not. You're brilliant already. Ever <laughs> oh. oh look. What are you doing? You'll find out soon enough. Ow! <laughs> oh. Stop! I can't take it anymore! Um, how do I... Can I use the electrical tape now? Yeah, maybe I should insulate the stick. Yeah. Oh, you can pick it up now, can you? Okay. Let's get Clever Bite to, uh... <laughs> now he's in for a Bite nasty it. shock. Nice, you did it, Rufus. Well pulled off. Hey, what's wrong? Are you giving up? Yes, you were right. This stick business is just too much for me. You stupid muddy cur. Here, like this. You put the Just stick the in car. your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, I can't take it anymore! <laughs> oh, 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 oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Oh boy, 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 oh dear. I think we broke it. Um, let's go! Nobody needs to. Let's just go! Hey, Doc. Rufus. At last, Goal really almost bought it this time. But, as I can see, you have everything under control. I'll, uh, go look for Bozo then. He mentioned a tavern. Oh, uh, yeah. The plant has been badly damaged. I need to operate right away. Aww. There's only one problem. The data cartridge is not going to survive the procedure. Oh, no. I take it that's a bad thing? Well, yes. Her entire mind is stored on the thing. 
her memory, her character, the ascension codes. I can save oh, no. the data, but I need a bunch of empty cartridges. And these cartridges are hard to obtain? Mm, not really. This is the floating black market after all. There's oh, nothing so don't have to go on a ridiculous get. quest to get and the cartridges. Brain implants are currently all the rage. I installed another one just the other day. You will find the cartridges in the gadget shop. And where's what? that? Why me? Because I need to get ready for the surgery. And I need to familiarize myself with the local circumstances. Bozo said something Let's about... Let's get crazy! Rufus. All right, all right. No. So I get those okay. cartridges in the gadget shop? It's right by the harbor, outside the city gate. Just have them charged to my account. But make okay. very sure that you get the good cartridges. The cheap ones are bound to cause problems. Well, it's your money. Good cartridges. Not the cheap ones. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Why? Hey, you. Oh. Who? Me? No. We're talking to the three headed platypus behind you. Was that a Monkey Island reference? I feel like that was a Monkey Island reference. We've been watching you. We know what you're planning. Oh yeah? Seems like you know more than I do. You spreads fast in the floating black market. You've got something very valuable there. It mustn't fall into the wrong hands. And your hands would be the right ones? Let's just say we're friends. We're the good guys. We fight against oppression by the Organon. Right. The Organon. The Organon is planning something. Something unspeakable. Right. So unspeakable that we cannot talk about it. We've got to go. We've already said too much. But we'll be back. And then we'll get what is rightfully ours. Do not talk about this to anybody. Keep your back to the wall. And do not forget who your true friends are. Death to the Organon. So... Death to the Organon. Okay. What was that all about? I don't know, Rufus. That was weird. What's this? What an ugly mess. It must belong to an extremely ugly bird. Ew. Is there anything up here? An egg. What? Oh, that's where that goes. Okay. Do you not run into them? No? I, uh, never touch stuff that some stranger has already had in their rear end. I'm sorry, no. What is this? This looks like some overly complicated thing that I'm gonna have to do. I... <laughs> we all know that, right now, that I'm not the biggest fan of, like... You know, like, actually difficult puzzles. I don't... I don't feel that. Okay, let's go for a walkabout. Okay. Right, this isn't the dock. Let's go over here. Da 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 Roo refuse. Roo roo refuse. Roo refuse. Super super defuse. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, you can say what you like about those black market bumps, but they have good taste in music. What? That was weird. I kind of want to get a good look at everything. Or should I just go straight? Oh, it's all filled in. Oh, you know what? I bet I fill it all in when I go visiting stuff. So, okay, so I know what all these are. But I don't know what that is yet. What's that? Uh, great. Hey, hello. <laughs> what do you mean, bleh, the nerve? I guess the nose is like a lock. I've never seen such a snooty door sensor. Has it got to smell something nice? Or not nice? Maybe there's like an actual thing that he's got to smell. Go, go, Rufus! Uh, okay. Right. Let's go to the dock. Not dock, but the dock. And who have we here? Oh dear. Well, if it isn't the newcomer that everyone's talking about. Rufus? 
They're talking Come about on. me. High time, too. All those stories of my heroic deeds are actually quite understated. These They're people not don't look friendly. In fairy tales. You've got something that we want. Huh. Tough. Good looks is something you're born with. We are talking about this secret ascension code. The ascension codes over my dead body. Uh, oh, wait, let that. me rephrase that. Uh oh. Oh dear. Ow! Ow! Oh! Ouch! Ow! Ow! Oh! Ouch! Oh! Oh! Ow! Oof! Ow! Yep. Oh! Yep. Hey! Yeah. Oh! 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 He hasn't uh, got the money. I guess he isn't as stupid as he looks. So what do we do now? We'd better report this to Donna. What just happened? Oh, oh. Lots of friendly people here. Ugh. Okay. Maybe I should tone it down a bit. Maybe. What's going here, mate? That was scary. Welcome to Gilligan's Gadget Garden. You um, are being served by Shopomat 2000. Um, How may I help you? Uh, yeah. Doc sent me to get a set of cartridges. Th of course. We currently offer two different brands. There's a, there's the first is Platinum Proof Professional. They are somewhat more expensive, but He's of crying. better quality. There is a cheaper kind as well. Cowboy Dodo's Jolly All-Purpose Cartridges. Those Their the quality right. may not be top of the line, but they come with a free colorful lollipop. Uh, a lollipop? No, so Rufus. So which brand do you prefer? Rufus. Oh, God, please don't. Please don't get the bad cartridge just for the lollipop. Th that um. one. Oh, for God's Those sake, Krufus! Really the good cartridges. Of course. Remember, Gold's mind is at stake here. <laughs> All right. Here goes nothing. Oh, you could have just bought both. It was Doc's money. Oh God! If you really wanted the lollipop, you could have just bought the lollipop. Hmm? Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Did it work? I'm not sure. Something's not right. Mm, Rufus? Oh, I might have known. Oh no. Why does the same question pop up in my mind every time I set eyes she on you? She sounds Who's different. that good looking guy in the snappy overcoat? Where am I? Because the aura of my magnetism is befuddling your sense of orientation. No. Huh. Seriously, where did you drag me off to this time? And what is that awful smell? This is the floating black market. You're safe here. Safe? Rufus, I was on my way to Elysium. Well, yes, you were, but with the wrong guy. Uh... Cletus wanted to help me. And you trust that lying slime bag? Yes, who I am more likely to trust. My fiancé or his cheap imitation. <gasps> hey, what's up with you? What's up? I wake up and to find myself crazy? in some torture chamber. That's what's up with me. I'm already itching all over just because I'm forced to breathe this foul, polluted air. <gasps> I'm about to be sick. I need to get out of here. Oh, what a nasty cow! Yeah, you better run! Too good for our Rufus. He seems to be pretty mad. Not really. I just have a certain effect on explosive women. What? Lighting the fuse? Yeah, uh. very funny. But she actually did seem a little volatile. Are you sure you didn't mess her up somehow? Hmm. I think I might be able to explain this. Some information wasn't written to the cartridge. Almost as if we'd used the cheap ones. Not as cheap as your excuses. Oh my Her gosh. mind appears to have been split three ways. So, the woman who just stomped out of the lab is only a part of gold? And not the most agreeable part, I hope. Come on, Doc. I thought you were an expert. It is nothing that I can't fix, but for that, I need all three cartridges, including the one that is currently inserted in her implant. Also, I cannot operate without the consent of the patient. Therefore, 
All three parts oh, of the body so must cooperate before I can go ahead with the surgery. That. Oh, yeah. Judging from her mood, she'll be positively enthusiastic about you flipping open her skull again. Yay! Mm, agreed. Maybe you had better start with a different part of her character. You think? Huh? Take the two cartridges that are still in the output hopper. Okay. And this thing. Okay. What is it? A remote control? Not quite. See that compartment in the back? Just insert one of the other cartridges and press the button when you're close to go. That's what I said. A remote. It's more complicated than that. Data's written to a buffer and... And I can zap back and forth between two characters. No. Yes. Something like that, but... Just like a remote. <sighs> Just like a remote. Cool. I wish I'd had one of these for Tony. Hurry up, Rufus. The longer the fragments of her character get used to their independence, the more difficult it will become to talk them into having that surgery done. Go find Goal and persuade her. All three parts of her. I will prepare everything else here in the meantime. All right, here we go. Go find Goal. That's what this part of Deponia should be called. Go find Goal. I just, ah. Uh, I feel a convoluted plot coming on. Ah, uh, and so it begins. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that here for today, or for the moment at least. Um, I think that seems like a pretty good introduction as well, so uh, just leave him here having a little a little walk around. Um, I have been Togafla. I, that's not how I do my endings, is it? Thank you guys so much for watching. I have been Togafla. He has been... Rufus, face the front. R Rufus, face the... Good job. He has been Rufus. That dude over there with the twitchy eye has been Doc. And you have been awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.